Welcome to the Lotus Goddess Divine Love. Hi everyone, how's everyone doing today? Um, so I'll be doing a general reading and please keep in mind that this isn't a private reading. And let's see what messages comes in. Hope everyone's doing well and staying safe. Okay. So there was a decision that was made by Divine Masculine here, whoever this resonates for. A decision was already made. Um, this it's showing here that the Divine Masculine decided to step away from um, a karmic situation. This involves a group of people. Um, and these individuals, they're not happy with what's happening at this time. I see here um, that they're getting quite... Um, it feels like it's very uh, difficult for these individuals to cope with whatever this is so it's kind of like they are not accepting they do not they do not want divine masculine to um disconnect they do not want divine masculine to uh, separate themselves from these individuals whoever they may be um it's showing here that these individuals are they do not have good intentions it's a very heavy and dark energy um, that's involved um, with these these people um, and this decision to step away from these individuals is weighing very heavy on this group so the social group um, I see here that there's going to be an end to this cycle having to do with divine masculine and this karmic environment um, that this it feels like karmic energy so it doesn't feel like um just one person it feels like it was a karmic um it feels like karmic energy and karmic lesson so that's going to come to a close and divine masculine will no longer feel um stuck uh he will have some sort of awakening some some sort of uh, inner knowing that will give him strength to move forward. Um, in the past, Divine Masculine, he was unable to see um, any kind of illusion. He was unable to see through the illusions. He was unable to see any... Um, I feel like there was something that was camouflaged. Something that looked different to, to the Divine Masculine. Um, he wasn't able to see through through that. He won't, he wasn't able to see the reality of it, like the reality of the situation of the individual. Um, but there will be clarity here because I see that the third eye for divine masculine in this reading, it's going to give him the strength to move forward. It's going to um, help him um, take the first step to move into a new direction. Uh, this is also going to involve um, clearing out the old cleansing. There's some things that the Divine Masculine, it's hard for him to um, kind of accept that this is the truth, this is the reality. It's like bitter truth, the bitter truth, the bitterness of it is hard for Divine Masculine to accept, but he will accept it because I see here that um, he's going to um know know the things deep within him deeply rooted within him that he needs to um heal that he needs to feel face 
and that he needs to remove. Um, I see something here about the closing of that cycle. It's going to help Divine Masculine move forward and to put more effort into something else. So the energy, the work, the effort that he was putting into um, this situation is going to be... Um, He's going to have like a transitional, like a transition stage. Like he's going to transition from one way of living into another way of, of living. So the energy, the uh, time, the work, the effort he put into something will transition into a new way of living. He's going to put it towards something else. Um, I see here that this karmic situation, there will be somebody reaching out to the Divine Masculine. Um, but Divine Masculine is going to um, have his guard up and he's going to put his foot down. I see here that he's going to stand up for himself. Um, once he disconnects from this this karmic uh, situation, he's not going to look back. He's like, it feels and it's showing here that it's a very steady and firm decision that this Divine Masculine is making. So it doesn't matter how much... Um, I feel like it doesn't matter how much sweet talking or um, trying to make the situation, um, trying to resolve the situation in any way from the other people's um, side, whoever these individuals are, it's not going to work. Like this Divine Masculine, once he's made his decision, and I see a decision was made here, a strong decision. Um once he's put that into action, when he moves forward, it's like no looking back. There's no looking back. I'm just going one direction. Um, another thing I see in this reading, Divine Masculine, he knew that he, he worked very hard in this situation, in this connection. And that he was not receiving anything in return. He was not receiving. Um, it's like he's. It's kind of like you. You plant a seed. You water it. You're hoping for it to take root. To grow. But that that seed never took root. Like that's what I see here. It doesn't matter how much effort. Time he put into this situation. Connection. Nothing good came out of it. There was no. Um, progression there was no blossoming nothing um it was it feels like very um still like everything was just very stagnant very still it didn't move there was no movement here and divine masculine it took time it took a lot of time effort and it took time for divine masculine to understand to realize come to that realization that no matter how much I put into this, it's not it's not going into the direction I would like for it to go. Like it's not um, getting me anywhere. I feel like he feels that he he just went in circles and circles. Like instead of you know getting from point A to point B and reaching his destination, his goal, his dreams, it's just like it felt like he was going through the same routine over and over. It was an endless cycle. And now that he's recognized the cycle and it's coming to a close, this Divine Masculine, he's going to change. So there's not, I feel like it's not just um, changing in the environment. He's going through a shift, right? So sh changing takes time, right? Working towards something takes time. And he put, I feel like he may have put years. And the amount of time and energy he's put into this connection, this environment. It's going to take him time to get out of that kind of like energy, that way, that way of thinking that it feels like that habit, it's letting go of some sort of habit, habit habit, routine, um, way of living. It feels like 
it became a part of divine mask and to the point where it's kind of like hard to undo but he's trying to undo it so the changes that happened within him that didn't um didn't get him anywhere and now that he's accepting and and recognizing those changes that occurred while he was with these individuals or in this karmic group or it could be even karmic connection whatever the relationship was he's starting to realize that it's going to take time to change into into the being that he would like to be so here it's showing in this reading that it's going to not only take time for divine masculine to transform himself it's going to require a lot of strength because divine masculine he realizes that he put himself in a situation that was very difficult to get himself out of and i feel like even physically if he were to detach from um this karmic situation emotionally and mentally he is still connected energetically he may feel detached but still there's thoughts there's memories and and that those thoughts and memories are triggering emotions within divine masculine so that's causing the draining okay but i see here that there this is leading into a progression this is going to lead into a cleansing and one of the things um uh, the divine is showing in this reading has to do with um his words divine masculine's words i feel like there's a lot of um negative it could be like negative self talk um he needs to remove the negativity he needs to forgive himself i feel like forgiveness is a huge part of this divine masculine's healing process because it's showing here that there's a lot of um a self talk that needs to be um shifted that needs to be changed into something positive and i feel like he may be blaming himself and he may be um uh, feeling um some sort of regret and and overthinking things because divine masculine realizes that he had a beautiful opportunity he had a beautiful blessing to have a beautiful life with his divine feminine divine feminine was his blessing and the opportunity was that he could have had the life he always dreamt of and he he recognizes that he sees that and it's showing here that he's though he made a decision to step away from this karmic situation he's thinking about his connection with divine feminine but he has not taken action towards it and i feel like he he is not ready to move towards divine feminine until he he does his inner work his inner healing i see here um divine masculine he lacks um self love and uh, though he's he started to become more aware more alert of what he he would like to have in his life um the positive things that he feels he deserves to have in in a happy in a happy life um he feels like he needs to protect protect his heart uh divine mask i feel that this experience he had with this karmic energy um not only drained him but made him feel a lack of trust in love um it's not that he doesn't trust divine feminine's love it's just that he doesn't trust that 
It feels like he doesn't trust that it is possible to be, to have that type of love, that it's possible to have a successful um, connection, somebody who he can fully trust, um, where, where he could completely surrender his um, heart to an individual. I feel like he's being protective over his own heart because of his lack of love and because of the lack of love that was given to him in this karmic um, connection or situation. But he does, um, I see here, he does value Divine Feminine a lot. He sees Divine Feminine as very rare, very pure. Um, he sees Divine Feminine as somebody who who is very... Um, open when it comes to expressing their love, their emotion. Um, but at the same time, I feel like he, because of that lack within himself, he's unable to um, see the beauty in, in the connection yet. Like he doesn't see the connection for what it is yet. I see here that Divine Masculine is, is more focused on the healing of his heart, healing of his own emotions. I'm trying to see things from a different perspective. Um, there is um, some sort of balance that is supposed to take place. This has to do with um, balance being restored within the Divine Masculine's heart chakra. Um, this, once there is balance restored within the Divine Masculine's heart, it's going to help balance the other um, chakras within his um, spiritual body. This experience he had with this karmic situation has been very, very, um, it feels like it was very painful, very sad, um, and very shocking. Uh, this was something that came out of nowhere and it involved um, a few individuals. I feel like there were other people who are aware of what happened. Um, there was a discussion that took place and there's someone who is trying to um, restore what was, what was, um, what fell apart, like what collapsed, what fell apart. There's somebody who is trying to kind of like intervene to try to um, hold on to Divine Masculine, like to keep Divine Masculine from making this move towards a new beginning. But there's, um, there's protection on Divine Masculine's side. I see that it's going to help Divine Masculine continue to move forward continue to stay strong in their decision. And this is going to lead into um, a new way of living that will bring about the blessings that were once blocked from the Divine Masculine. So Divine Masculine is going to experience um, some positive things. This is up ahead. It's going to be positive blessings. And it's and when I say blessings, there are multiple of blessings. There's It's not just one. Um, and they're not major, major um, big transformations. They're like, because of the positive movement, the first steps he's making towards a new direction, a new way of living, he's going to see the fruits of his labor. It's going to be the positive things are going to take root. It's going to start to show. And it's going to help Divine Masculine move into a brand new direction. So even a bit, I feel like he will go down the right path, but once he sees the blessings, the opportunities, the good positive things that come during this, this um, journey on this new path, it's going to help him make a, a good decision that's going to, to transform his life completely so into a bigger blessing. And this has something to do with the old. This has to do with an old connection. And that connection is an old cycle. And that connection was with Divine Feminine. So it's going to move into a 
newer cycle. So the old cycle is going to merge into a newer cycle. So the old experiences with the divine feminine is going to bring about a new experience with the divine feminine. So once he goes into this new path, there will be small blessings that come come during his journey on this new path that will lead him towards divine feminine to start a new beginning, a new cycle. It's kind of like closing off the old cycle with divine feminine that moves into a brand new cycle with divine feminine. Okay, so that's the reading for today. I hope you like this reading. And if you like my readings, please subscribe to my channel and leave a comment below. And thank you all for watching. Have a great day. Bye.